Um, I, I'm on here. Um, I just posted, you know, a, a video earlier or whatever with my mom and everything. It went by great. Okay, I'm on here because I'm talking to a new cupcake of mine, and he, you know, who you are. Um, he wanted me to watch this video. Okay, the video is called Todd Hall Speaks Against Homosexuality. Okay, <laughs> first and foremost, I just truthfully and honestly want to say this to you, Mr. Quote Unquote Todd Hall. Okay, whoever the fuck you think you are. Okay. Yeah, you might be a messenger of God and a vessel of God and everything like that. Okay, that's fine. And you so-called in in this video, you said that you you talk about homosexuality and you call you said that your God hates homosexuality and um, you call homosexual sissies and all this or whatever. Do you realize that the same shit that you doing, you doing the same shit that keeps homosexuals away from church? Do you really realize that bullshit? Like really? Seriously, truthfully, and honestly. And then you had the audacity to talk about some, oh, well, I need somebody to pay me a million dollars because what I'm about to say, I really need to pay for that. Are you really serious? Are you really promoting this shit? Really? Seriously? Really? This is the same kind of bullshit that makes homosexual kill themselves because they feel like they don't have nowhere to run to. Especially if they don't have no friends or no family that they can come to. I would think that especially if they grew up in church that they would have some kind of ministry some somebody within the church that will understand what the fuck they're going through and will look beyond their sexuality they might not agree with it you know what i'm saying okay yeah okay that's fine or whatever but it's bitches like you that sit there and say oh we're going to hell and all this bullshit fuck you bitch sit on it and motherfucking rotate that's how i fucking feel about it and i hope your ass does see this motherfucking video i can't stand your bitch ass i really can't because the shit that you just said was so fucking vile like seriously really really and then you had the audacity talking about some or if you had something about some two other women and stuff like that why would a man reject um, two fine women like Holly Berry and all this or whatever. Okay, first of all, if that's what they love, who the fuck are you to sit up there and tell them who to love and who not to fucking love? Are you serious? The God that I fucking serve? Really? It's not a hateful or spiteful God. He is of love and of peace. And what the fuck you did was so fucking vile. Like, seriously? Bitch, I want to punch your ass in the motherfucking face. That's how fucking mad I am, right? I just want to just punch your ass in the motherfucking face. Bitch, you really motherfucking made me, man. And I'm so serious. Like, really. And you might think this is a fucking joke, but this is not a motherfucking joke. I will stand in your motherfucking face and tell you, bitch, I can't stand your ass. I cannot stand you. It's bitches like you that made it harder for folks like me to even get inside the fucking church because you make it seem as if, oh, you're Bible-based and you're biblical that you don't make no damn sense. Bitch, why the fuck you think Donald, um, Donnie McClurkin made that song, We Fall Down But We Get Up, for our saint is just a sinner who fell down. What the fuck you trying to say? That you don't commit sins? And then you had that nasty talk about some, how, where do you think AIDS come from? Bitch, are you motherfucking serious? Are you really listening to the fucking shit that you're saying? Like, really? Really, bitch, are you really, really listening to the fucking dumb shit that you're saying? Are you trying to say that gay folks are the only people that, that made AIDS? We, we were the first people that made AIDS? Really? Bitch, I'm gonna really need you to sit up there and reevaluate what you said and research that shit. Seriously. Because AIDS don't have no number on it. It don't have no name or nothing like that. It's just like a bullet. Once that bitch go off, pow, your ass is gone. Especially if you don't take care of yourself. AIDS does not have no name on it. No name. And the shit that you you put out. Bitch, oh, I'm so motherfucking. I'm mad at you. I'm so motherfucking mad at you. I would never go to any of your sermons. At all, period. Because I don't have no kind of trust within you. And guess what? It wouldn't even matter to you. And bitch, it's not going to matter to me. Because clearly, you're, you're speaking against people like me. Really. Really, really, truthfully, and honestly, you know what I'm saying. And I've never even, I've never said this, but you know, what? I agree with Kimi 18 when he said, you know what, the inner man in me says, I don't give a damn. This is the reason why I don't go to church. You know what I'm saying. This is the reason why I stay home and I get my sermons from Joel Osteen because he does not hate on people. He looks beyond 
the physical and what a person does. He preaches his sermon. He has a positive outlet. He leaves you with whatever it is that God has set in his mind to put in. You know what I'm saying? But what the fuck you did was so fucking fire. Like, seriously, it was so fucking fire. And I have no respect for you. None. No fucking respect for you. None. Period. Fuck you. I don't even know if that's your real fucking name. I mean, I'm just reading what I see on this damn YouTube thing or whatever. So, I mean, if if Tall Hall, if that's not you or whatever, if, you know, I really apologize. I'm looking at the preacher. That's who I'm fucking talking about in this damn term. That's who I'm talking about. So, as you know, if, if Todd Hall, if, if that's, if you ain't the person, the preacher in that particular video, then excuse what I'm saying. But I'm talking to the fucking preacher that said what he said. And the, another thing he said, well, oh, well. I, I don't feel like y'all are not in here giving me the props that I deserve or whatever, you know, because just because you have something against homosexuality, you think that, oh, well, you're not giving me, you're not giving the right praises or whatever and stuff like that. Preachers ain't giving the right, right praises or whatever. If you, if you ain't giving the right praises and giving God the praises because, because he hates homosexuality, then I'm gonna come against you. Who the fuck are you to sit up there and say what is right and what's wrong, boo-boo? Really? When the fuck did you ever put a bitch in hell? And when the fuck did you put a bitch in heaven? You never did that shit. Ever. You might be the vessel of God in your eyes, sweetheart. But you'll never be, you'll never be a preacher for me. Never. Period. I don't have no respect for you. None. And I'll say that shit in your face and behind your motherfucking back. And I, have, I will back my shit up. I can't stand your black ass. I cannot stand you. I don't hate you. I do not hate you. I love you because God say love everybody. It's just the shit that you just said. I don't. I will not. I don't ever want to go to your damn sermon. Period. It's bitches like you that make it harder for other homosexuals to even go to church and get the word. Because they're too damn petrified that they're going to be stigmatized and ostracized and criticized for them being them. Fuck you. Fuck you. If y'all if y'all don't want to get go to a preacher, bitch, I'll be your motherfucking preaching. That's how I feel about it. If if a homosexual feels like, you know, if any of my, my gay friends and anybody out there that's gay that feels like they're not getting the real true justice of 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 love or whatever, come to me, I'll be your motherfucking preaching. I'll be your preaching. And if I can't be that, trust me, sweetie. My father is a deacon. He knows his word. He knows his word. And trust me, I will interpret that shit and deliver it the, the best way to help you out if I have to be that. But for you, Mr. Todd Hall, fuck you. Sit on it and motherfucking rotate. I cannot stand your black ass. Cannot stand you. And I hope you see this motherfucking video. I can't stand you. I will never go to your motherfucking sermons, period. I have no respect for a bitch that puts down homosexuality, period. And then you try to you try to make it seem as if... Black men are the only men, only people that are gay. Sweetie, there's lesbians, okay? There's lesbians. I have nothing against lesbians because I have a lot of them. But I have a problem when people make it seem as if black, in general, males, or just a gay male, is the only type of gay people there is. I don't know what the fuck people think. This is the man's world kind of bullshit or whatever. But seriously, you need to get off that high pedestal and really think about that bullshit. Really. I have no respect for you, period. And any preachers or any Christian person that believes in him, you can sit on it and motherfucking rotate. And if you say I'm going to hell, bitch, put me there. Put me there. Because quite, quite frankly, I will meet your ass there and dirty draws, fire draws, whatever, with gasoline on the bitch, I don't give a fuck. I will meet your ass there if I'm going to hell. I'll see your ass there first. Fuck you and fuck all your damn followers. I can't stand your black ass. You get on my motherfucking nerves. And to anybody who feels like what he's saying is right, seriously, sit on it and motherfucking rotate. You don't have the right to judge no bitch. None. You are the reason why a lot of people hurt themselves and kill themselves and feel like they don't have a place to call their own. Because they're always being criticized and stigmatized for them being them. Who the fuck are you? You ain't no fucking body. You are nobody. You are nothing to me. Period. I have no motherfucking respect for you. Fuck you, motherfucker. That's how I motherfucking feel about your ass. Bitch about to get me. Oh, this shit made me so motherfucking. I, I gotta go. Seriously? Really?
Really? Seriously? Fuck you. That's how I feel about it. Fuck you.